what's going on there, Flyers Nations? Yeah. Well, this is another edition of uh, Season of the Fan of the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. I hope everybody's having a good St. Patty's Day. And as you can all tell, I'm wearing my my Flyers uh, um, St. Patrick's Day hoodie. And, uh, yeah. Well, well and, and tonight is the big Flyers game against the, Peng uh, the Penguins. It always, it o I mean, it's always a big game against uh, the Penguins. But, um... But yeah, um, uh, the Flyers, well, welcome back to Carter Hart. He's starting in goal tonight uh, for the Penguins against uh, uh, Matt Murray. Um, uh, before I get into it, uh, the last, um, when I made this video about Carter Hart, you know, yeah, I was, I was upset the last time when he, when he played, when he didn't, when he didn't do too well, but, um, I had some, you know, I, I, I had some, uh, I, I, I had some hate comments as, uh, but I don't want to get into the details, but I had, I had to uh, delete that video because, you know, you know, people think, uh, people, people will say, oh, you're not a real fan or what kind of fan are you? Well, it, well, you know what? I've been a real Flyers fan since 1991, 92. Uh, before Eric Lindros got drafted, when when he uh, when 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 you know from you know from the Quebec Nordiques to the Philadelphia Flyers, but but anyhow uh, no, anyhow enough said, but but you know I always try to keep it one hundred percent, and I and I try to break break down. I try to break down the Flyers to you, the best I can, okay. If I see something I don't like, I'm going to give my opinion, okay? I give my opinion to you, whether people like it or not, okay? So, you know, I don't do the analytics. I just, you know, I keep it real, okay? But, but, um, but, uh, you know, listen, Carter Hart, he, he's a very gifted player, okay? You know, he's, you know... As we all know, as we can we can all agree on, he's still a young kid. You know, Carter Hart, he's still a young kid. You know, he he's very good at what he does, but he's going to have times. There are times that that he's going to have a bad game. Okay. He's going to have a bad game. So. So. I mean, I I I know I was hard on on the kid. Uh, when when the Flyers got their asses handed uh, to them against Montreal five to one, uh, but um, anyhow, um, when Carter Hart made made his first return against the Washington Capitals, I would have given him I would have given him the night off, if I was the head coach or the GM, if I was uh, Scott Gordon or Chuck Fletcher, I would have given Carter Hart another night off against Washington because. I knew he wasn't going to do well. Okay, and uh, I would have started Brian. I would have started Brian Elliott against the Capitals. And and then I would have given. I would have, and also I, I I would have given Carter Hart his return against the Toronto Maple Leafs, but the Flyers still lost to the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, on Friday night, uh, seven to six. But Carter Hart, or excuse me, uh, James Van Riemsdyk. Did get his hat trick at the Air Canada Arena, which is good. Uh, Car uh, so, and Scott Lawton he he scored. But um, but you know um, if if you're expecting if you think I'm expecting the Flyers to make the playoffs, push the playoffs, I don't think they're going to do it. It's just it's you know. Just too much ground to make up, and there's only there's only eleven games left in the regular season for the Flyers, and I just don't think they're going to do it. I there's no way in hell that the Flyers are going to make the playoffs this year. I mean, Montreal, either Montreal Canadiens or the Columbus Blue Jackets are are going to get in, so 
The Flyers are now eight points out of the playoffs, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we lose again against the Penguins. But I'm, but like I said, I'm happy at the Flyers that the Flyers won their outdoor game. But it's just you know just just you know there ju there's just too many holes to fill. But um, but I'm I'm still going to enjoy the Flyers game while 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 it lasts. Okay, but I just don't think they're going to, I don't think the Flyers are a playoff team this year. So, unless they prove me otherwise, I just, I just don't think they're going to do it. But, and you know, it is what, it is what it is. I mean, they gave us a good season. We have, we have good young kids out there. We have, we still have more young kids developing uh, that wants to come up to the Flyers you know, like, you know, we had Sam Moran, we have Robert Hag. Uh, hopefully, we can get Morgan Frost to come up next year. Uh, but hopefully, we can get Joel Farabee and Jay O'Brien for the Flyers next year. You know, you know, if not, you know, they can. If not, you had the Phantoms. But I'm going to the Phantoms game. I'm going to the Phantoms game on April sixth. Against uh, the Scranton Wilkes Bear Penguins, uh, that's going to be a good good game, right there. Looking looking forward looking forward to that. But um, before I close off this video, um, there is something I want to show you in, in in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Hang on while I show you. I think I showed this la last year, but here you go. I wore this on Friday for for Dress Down Friday for St. Patrick's Day. And here you go, Nolan Patrick. So, you know, you know when people see me wearing this, uh, uh, most people, some, some non-Flyers fans don't know who Patrick, uh, uh, Nolan Patrick is. They think it's St. Patrick's, but... But Nolan Patrick, but and uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to you all, to 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 uh, to all you uh, Flyer, Flyers fans out there and Flyers nations, and to everybody, the to, to everybody out there. But, but yeah, you know. 11 games left for the Flyers. Uh, you have Pittsburgh tonight. You have Montreal. Uh, you have Montreal on Tuesday, I think it is, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, and then, and then you have, and then you have the Chicago Blackhawks on Thursday, and Saturday, the 23rd of March, you have uh, the the Islanders. And then next day you had the wash you had the Washington Capitals, but it's it's gonna it's gonna be, it's gonna be a tough stretch. There's no doubt about it. But you know we, we had the Sixers to watch. We still have the Philadelphia Wings, and we also have uh, March Madness. That's right. So Villanova is in. I didn't I didn't even watch uh, uh, the selection Sunday, who Villanova is going to play, but. Um, uh, but I was watching the Flyers Penguins Wired, uh, that was on the Stadium Series version. But you know, but um, you know, well, you know, um, but you know, March is a great time for sports, and also Penn State uh, Nittany Lions college hockey they beat uh, Ohio State, so um, so. Um, Penn State Nittany Lions advance to the Big Ten Championship against Notre Dame uh, next weekend, so I'm I'm excited to watch that too. But um, you know Nate Susis from from Penn State has been playing lights out, and uh, they're always fun to watch. And then uh, Lehigh Valley Phantoms always have been fun to watch too, win or lose. But, um, 
But um, that's about do it for me. Um, happy St. Happy St. Patty's Day to everybody. Uh, let's go Flyers. Um, yep, let's let's go Flyers. Uh, and uh, let's go Nova in 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 the March Madness. I haven't filled out my I haven't filled out my bracket yet, but but we'll see if I win anything. But uh, let's go Flyers. Uh, we'll see what what they what what the Flyers have in store tonight. But but all all right, everybody, take care. Bye bye.